next, Michael's having a close encounter as he hunts for aliens in Rendlesham Forest. Most UFO sightings are easy to debunk. But when US soldiers stationed at an RAF base in Suffolk witness a series of UFO sightings and are unable to give a tangible explanation for what they'd seen, could Rendlesham Forest hold proof that there is extraterrestrial life out there? The Rendlesham Forest incident is considered one of the most significant UFO sightings in Britain ever, not least because of those compelling testimonies from military personnel. For some, this is bigger than Roswell. In June 1983, a US Air Force internal memo was made public for the first time, written by the highest ranking officer ever to go on record. Deputy Base Commander Charles Holt's memo describes what happened in Rendlesham Forest. The individuals reported seeing a strange glowing object in the forest. The object was described as being metallic in appearance and triangular in shape. Rendlesham Forest was flanked by two RAF bases that at the time were occupied by the US Air Force. So strange lights appearing in the forest would certainly have sparked their interest. For more than 20 years, the case has been researched by author John Hansen. Initially, it was thought that it could have been an aircraft in distress. Sergeant uh, Jim Penniston mm -hmm. and Airman John Burroughs were asked to investigate. Jim certainly uh, came across a black triangular object the size uh, of a tank, he, he says, and it was hovering uh, a few feet off the ground with lights from grey to blue. Wow. He, he says that it, it, it suddenly took off and, and disappeared. The following night, the lights were back, and this time Deputy Base Commander Charles Holtz was determined to investigate for himself. Armed with his personal dictaphone, the recording reveals what he saw. 305, we see strange uh, strobe-like flashes to the uh, rather sporadic, but there's definitely something, uh, some kind of phenomenon. We've got two strange objects, uh, half moon shaped, side with colored lights on them. But so here, here he comes from the south, he's coming toward us now. Now we're observing what appears to be a beam coming down to the ground. This is unreal. Coming from somebody that's that high up in the military <laughs> really is quite intense. Most people in life will probably never encounter anything like this. Yeah. And when they do, um, they're probably aware that they're not on their own. Holt sent his report to the Ministry of Defence, who didn't reply. They only commented after the memo was made public, saying simply the sightings had no defence significance. So what does Colonel Holt himself have to say now? We have tracked the man down. He now lives in America, just outside Washington, D.C., and he's agreed to answer some of my questions via video link. And what better place to conduct our interview than here, his old base of Bentwaters? Well, there was no doubt in my mind it was something that I couldn't explain. I first thought it was ball lightning, perhaps, and then couple that with the objects we saw overhead and the beam that came down at our feet. The whole thing was just, I guess, best way to describe it as bizarre. People have told me, you know, that we had mind tricks played on us now. Too many people from too many different locations were involved and saw portions of what happened. I had no idea what it was. When I found out the memo was going to be released, I got a call from the 3rd Air Force acting commander, who was a good personal friend of mine, and he said, I'm going to release it. I said, burn it. <laughs> if you don't, your life and mine will never be the same. Whether you believe that aliens visited Rendlesham Forest or not, what cannot be refuted is the fact that serving military officers went on the record to report what they'd seen, an act that, if proved a hoax, well, could have ended their career. Now, the MOD's lack of interest has led many people to believe that the whole truth is yet to be revealed. But what we do know is that something happened here that night in Rendlesham Forest that, to this day, remains unexplained. Well, as soon as that little film started, you both said, 
We're believers. I, I'm a believer because yeah, something happened to me actually. Um, I had a visitation in my garden, and what I did. This I laid, explains a lot. I, I laid some <laughs> sweets out, uh, uh, and then this little figure came into my house, and I looked after it for a while, and then it started to go all white, and it like needed to go home, and then so I put it in my BMX, and we were flying, and we went over the moon. You won't believe me. You're laughing, but you won't no, believe I'm me. Just... And then we, we flew over the moon, and then I put him <laughs> in the spaceship yeah. uh, in the forest, and he went. Um, and when he left, was, let me just tell you this: when he left, there was a beautiful rainbow what was after, that? after this. Oh, oh yeah. I'd like to draw a picture of it. If we've got time afterwards, I'll draw you a picture of what it looked like. <laughs>